Hey, what's up, guys? This is Monroe1v1, and today we're going to be talking about some good shows on Hulu that you can binge watch. So, one of my favorite shows on Hulu is Good Girls. Not like what the title suggests, they're not really good girls. They're all about criminals, uh, criminal activity. So, basically, on, uh, on TV series finale, uh, com, they say it's a dark NBC comedy drama and let's see the TV series centers on three suburban mothers who have been struggling to get by after a series of setbacks they hold up a fine and frugal supermarket which is a store like a food line and their take far exceeds their expectations soon they're deep in with a local crime boss and these good girls have to find themselves with an array of bad choices um and in season two, they have a fallout of their criminality. It's a really good show. I I love it. Me and my girlfriend watch it every Monday that it comes on Hulu. It comes on Hulu Mondays at 5 a.m. So if you want to check it out, you check it out. It's doing pretty well. And it looks like there's going to be a third season. Who knows? Another good show that you should watch is The Good Place. Now, I don't know if it's on Netflix or Hulu. But all I know is that it's a featuring a girl named Eleanor... She's with uh, Tahani and Chidi and Jason. They're all funny characters, and they're trying to find. And she's trying to become a better person, so that way she gets into the good place. Now, the whole series is about Eleanor Sh Shellstrop, who, after dying, mistakenly ends up in the good place instead of the bad place, which is where she truly belongs, the bad place. And this is like heaven or hell, and it's a really, really good show. I really loved it. And I could watch it for days. I, I binge watched the hell out of this. Anyways, uh, that's about it. I, I could tell you more, but it would really be spoiling it. Um, anyways, on to the next one. Another show you should binge watch is Superstore. Now, Superstore is on Hulu. It's one of the best ones on Hulu, in my opinion. Uh, but I know I say that about everyone I talk about. But that's because they're all pretty good. I like them all. Um... <clears throat> This one's about a unique family of employees at a super-sized megastore. All from the newbies to the veterans to the clueless summer hires and the in-it-for-life managers, they tackle day-to-day -day grinds of rabid bargain hunters, riot-causing sales, and nap-worthy training sessions. It centers around Amy, which is the best employee in the store, which holds the place together, and the newly hired Jonah, which is a naive dreamer. Uh, determined to prove work doesn't have to be boring and their fellow associates are Garrett, Mateo and pregnant teenager Cheyenne overseeing them is Glenn and Tina anyways if you're interested make sure to check it out it's a great show you're missing out if you don't check it out though you really are another show that you definitely need to watch is Sword Art Online Alicization. It's also on Hulu. You can check it out now. And I'm just going to give you a synopsis of the whole series. So basically, it starts in Sword Art Online 1, where they're trapped inside of a video game. Where And the video games that they play are like headsets that they put on that transport them from reality to this virtual world. And they can move around, do everything in there, and it's like real life to them. But basically, in this video game, if you die, you die in real life. If someone tries to take off your headset, you die. And the only way to get out of it is to win the game, which is to get through all 100 levels of the game. And basically, this is a long series about Kirito, who goes through this game and beats it along with his friends. And it's very interesting, it's very cool, and I've loved watching it every minute of it. Then there's Sword Art Online 2. Which that's Gun Gale Online. Gun Gale Online is more about, well, I don't know. It's not more about like getting trapped in a game. It's more about a dude who like, who like, kills you. I don't know. I can't really remember too well. But it get, at the beginning, it's really, really slow and it's hard to get into. But if you continue watching, it's really fun to watch, and you just have to stick through it. And then finally, after all that's over, their Sword Art Online Alicization. Sword Art Online Alicization is a great show, and I think that it's very, uh, like, hidden. I didn't even know about it for quite a couple years. Or, I don't know. 
I'm not sure how long it's been out, but I do know this. It's a really fun show to watch, and you should definitely catch up on the whole Sword Art Online series. It's all great, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and a comment. I love to see them comments, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I try to put out commentaries every day, and if you want to 1v1 me, make sure to put it in the comment section below. Peace out, guys, and I'll talk to you later.